Look. The traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn. Our setting tonight. It's game six of the Eastern Conference semifinals here. Welcome back to the postseason action. It's heating up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beer. David Aldrich will join us momentarily from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Well, Kyrie Irving rediscovered his maternal lineage with the White Mountain family of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. He lost his mother at a young age, and by connecting with her roots, he's found a piece of himself. The tribe gave him the name Little Mountain. Kevin? Great story, D.A. Thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for the Nets, Levert and Durant out on the perimeter. Allen is out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Irving in at the one. Here we go. So the Bucks win the tip. Outside Matthews. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Let's it go from 11. Offensive rebound. Irving looking over the floor. Allen right side. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. In drawing first blood, you know coach likes that momentum out of the game. Well, for us, it'll be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Passes it to Giannis. Shot clock at six. Here's Matthews, releases from the wing and drills it. About a minute played so far here in the first. Irving against Bloodsoe. Irving passes to KD for Middleton. He can't get that one. And Milwaukee will come the other way. They're looking to build on Monday's big win. And you know what? It, sometimes it's hard to say whether or not defensively you were on your game. But bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot it well. And you've got to take some of the credit from a defensive standpoint. No question they deserve some credit, but they were really helped out by what was a very shaky performance on the other side. Nobody on that squad had a night they want to remember. Here's Jordan. That one drops for him. Not allowing the defense to cover him or alter his shot there was DeAndre Jordan getting to the rim. Bloodso against Irving. And Bloodso, here we go, softly drops in the floater. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Baseline J on the way. Irving misses. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. The offensive rebound and the dunk by Giannis. And Giannis just gobbling up the rebound, just spreads his wing out there, and the ball falls right into it. Pass to KD. And no good that time. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Middleton with it. To the middle. Here's Yacht. And it's sent back by Allen. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anna Dacumbo. Inwitters checked in for the Nets. Milwaukee also making some changes. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Korver in for Matthews. Dinwiddie outside. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. The heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Right on the bucket. And that's now six points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Again, floor vision from Eric Bledsoe makes dishing that basketball look easy. Pops it up for Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. Well, that's where he's a huge threat to complete any sort of alley-oop. You can throw that at the top of the square, and DJ's going to throw it in. Here's Bledsoe, and it's blocked by Jordan. And he recovers it. 
Here's on to Takumbo. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Irving. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Grinding speed there shown by Kyrie Irving on the boost. And when he puts time it on out, the floor out. like that, he's getting all the way to the rim. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. for Brooklyn. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Jared Allen. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. And Joe Harris is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. The Bucks also changing it up. Robin Lopez is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. Mm -hmm. Ilya Sova with the length he has on those arms of his. He got to the ball. Prince outside. Back to Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Barry's the long range jumper. Dinwiddie's got his second bucket tonight. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Dinwiddie against Hill. The kick out to Hill is over. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Here's Connaughton. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The pass to Lopez. Six to shoot. Outside Corver. Shot to stop the run. Sinks the triple. Better offense from Corver there. Trumped the defense. He's just a lights out shooter who doesn't miss many shots like that. Here's Dinwiddie. Hill with some nice D. Tie game in Brooklyn. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And pronouncing Giannis Antetokounmpo's name correctly has been a challenge for many. Something he discussed before today's game. The worst I've ever heard was my rookie year. A guy called me Antetokounmpo, and Kunupi in Greek means uh, mosquito. So he basically said uh, anti-mosquito. And the mosquito, definitely not a good comparison for Giannis. Yeah, more like a condor. <laughs> but that last name certainly has a lot of people looking for nicknames. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, guys, what jumps out to you, stats -wise? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Setting the floor for the Nets. On the perimeter, Harris and Prince. Jordan is out there with Wilson Chandler, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point. Basket is good, the assist from Harris. Dinwiddie's got the lead up to five now for the Nets. Pass to Corver. Bucks passing it around. Hill with it. Now Chandler defending. Back to Lopez. 
Shoots over Dinwiddie. Lopez, no luck. Nets leading by five. On the wing, Chandler. Shoots over Corver. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Reading the defense well when you're not up on Wilson Chandler. He's going to torch you with a catch and shoot. Hill deciding where to go with it. This is it to Lopez. And they get it. Good work there as it goes. Nets have gone a nice 3 of 3 to start the second. Dinwiddie passes to Prince. Tipped away. Chandler against Ilyasova. Kicks it out to Prince. Here's Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. Well, DeAndre Jordan dominates this game on both ends around the glass. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Jordan. Checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Durant comes in for Wilson Chandler. Karis LeVert checked in for Torian Prince. And Irving subbed in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Bloodsoe outside. Back to Giannis. 11 feet away. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Durant. Irving from long range. That's good. And it's KD with the assist. And it's a 10-point Nets lead. I know Kyrie is one of the best finishers in the league, but trust me, he enjoys the three ball. Moving against Bledsoe. Lopez, right side. Milwaukee needs to get off the shot here. It's good. Well, he might be six foot one, but Eric Bledsoe is fantastic with different kinds of finishes around the rim. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Harris outside. Allen kicks to Levert. Over Matthews. Here's KD. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Well, rebounding is about positioning, but for KD, a lot of times it's his timing and his length. So he goes in there and uses those to great effect. And Giannis throws it down. Every night, there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. Pass to Levert. 132 left in the first half of the game. Irving dishes to Allen. Here's Levert. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Bucks trail by eight. Bledsoe outside. Be honest. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got his third assist on the night. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Brooklyn leading by six. 
The pass to Levert. Back to Irving. Fires from the wing. And it goes down two points. Irving's got five points in the quarter. Pure shooting form shown by Kyrie on that one. Let's the ball just roll off the fingertips. One so taking his time here. Pocket six. The shot, no good. Some solid defense there from Irving. And he banks in the lane. And now it's a 10-point Brooklyn lead. I think KD getting more and more used to this off-ball movement of the Golden State Warrior offense and finds his teammates for cuts. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Shot from the wing. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on it. Great effort and gets in a little razzle-dazzle at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a, you know, intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a in a great rhythm when we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. Looking at the Nets, this is do or die for them tonight. And they're playing their hearts out. They built a nice lead for themselves, and if they can put together another half like the one they just played, this series may not be ending here in Game 6. Let's start with you, Shaq. What'd you think about the Nets? Spectacular half for Kyrie. Time after time, makes a difficult play look easy. A lot of fun to watch, unless you're the one who has to guard him. And over to Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks? Well, they're facing a team that shot very well in the first half. Now, that being said, they probably weren't aggressive enough on the defensive end. That was the difference. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Starting action from the Eastern Conference semifinal. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Oof. That first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape. Was just destroying the rim. Yeah, the defense has got to be a little bit embarrassed. There is no reason why he should just be on top of that rim. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinal. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthew. And it's Lopez in at the center. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flank. Okay, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Anadokounmpo. That's the 10th straight point they've given up. Irving passes to Durant. Over onto Takumbo. Here's Jordan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Brooke Lopez. Well, the D cannot handle DJ right now. A gigantic guy on the inside who's going to get those calls most of the time. Brooklyn shooting their first free throws here for the night. Free throw good, Jordan. Well, the way that DeAndre has built up his body over the last few years, he's gone from a raw and skinny prospect 
to a guy that you can't move around on the inside anymore. And so Jordan nails both of them. Here's Bledsoe. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. To the paint. Here's Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo swings it in. You know how you want to tell people don't let Giannis get too close? Well, one step past half court, he's too close. It's Levert on the wing. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Allen uses the glass to finish the layup. Allen's got the lead up to 10 now for the Nets. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. A kick out to Lopez. And a great assist by Bunso as that one goes in. Bunso's got six assists here tonight. Timeout, timeout called timeout. the Nets. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Chandler's checked in for Jared Allen. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Levert. The box also changing it up. Corver comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Matthew. And so finds Antetokounmpo. Count it. Good. Antetokounmpo's got 20. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Irving passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Irving. Good D by Bledsoe. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Here's Covington. Lopez. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now it's just a four-point Nets lead. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. A solid effort. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. And it's Irving with the ball for the Nets. They've led by as much as 10. Fires from deep. That one falls coming up Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists tonight. Yeah, it's one of the more dangerous shots. The form, the quick release, everything for Kyrie in sync. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Yeah, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. is checked in. The box also changing it up. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Hill in for Eric Ludson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The massive size of Lopez just puts defenses in a pickle. Well, when he's that close, you just have to foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Now 
and the first one drops. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. Both free throws good from Lopez. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Dinwiddie. A floater. Rebounded by the Bucks. Outside Hill. Giannis outside. Six on the shot clock. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Dinwiddie's got four rebounds in this game. Oats one up. Got a hand on it. Kumbo with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. Feeds to Lopez. Over Prince. And again, the Bucks miss. That's leading by three. Harris kicks to Dinwiddie. Harris dishes to Jordan. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got three assists in the game. Look how focused DeAndre Jordan is on those finishes through the contact. Passes it to Andre Kumbo over Chandler. The turnaround jumper. Count it. That's now 22 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Harris against Corver. On deep, Prince. That shot missing. And Milwaukee the other way now. Outside Hill. Teardrop shot. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And Brooklyn called for the foul. George Hill has good size and is broad in the shoulder, so he can play physical at that point guard position, and the defense has to be cautious when Take they guard him. Two shots. And he makes the first. George Hill is a gear-shifting, versatile guard and has some size and a good perimeter defender with that length. Free throws good from Hill. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Nets lead by one. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Prince and Durant are at the three and the four. Dinwiddie runs the point with Levert flanking him. And it's Allen in at the center position. So that's the next five. More and more signs of the skill set of Torian Prince as he finds an open teammate. Bucks trail by three. Outside Matthews. And Middleton gets to Matthews. Tie it up. And it's Durant with the rebound. 
KD's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Dinwiddie wide open. Off target from outside. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. Lopez outside. Middleton the pass to Hill. Back to Middleton. Shoots from 14. And it's Durant with the rebound. That's leading by three. And Dinwiddie with the basket on the assist from KD. That's their third straight make off an assist. Timeout called the Bucks. Checked in for the Nets. Kyrie Irving comes in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Brook Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Ludso comes in for Hill. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. We're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Here's Irving. Ilyasova comes up with the rebound. Bucks trail by three. Eight away. Allen with the rebound. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, has got to convert from there. And again, it's the Nets missing. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. But so going to the inside has no problem at his size getting in and drawing contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for just Eric Bledsoe when he's in these games and and you can see he's got hyper focus he can become a big big problem athletic plays both ends of the floor and that power from him at the guard position is is very unique. Bledsoe hits them both. Brooklyn's gone four of eight tonight from three point land shooting 50 percent on the three ball here. Has to Levert. Back to KD. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Shot clock at five. Irving double team. Lopez with the block. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. Shots good by Bledsoe. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Matthews against Levert. Allen, right side. Duran up top. Shoots it up. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Timeout called the Bucks, And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Spencer Dinwiddie. 
And, and tell you what, he's worked very hard to get himself in good position throughout the course of this game. And that comes across in his shooting percentage. He's hit over half his shots from the field. And that's not because he got hot as much as it's because of the effort he put in to get himself open. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Bledsoe. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. The leadership grows as Eric Bledsoe knocks down huge shots like that. And the pass to Allen. The dish now to KD. Takes the 13 footer. Two points. That one goes. And the Nets lead by one. And he sort of had that look in his eyes. Durant staying cool in the clutch moment. Inside. Here's Bledsoe. Good. And the assist goes to Middleton. 14 points for Eric Bledsoe. We've seen some great competition in this one. Yeah, seven already in the game. And I think it shows you how well these two teams match up with one another. Here's Irving. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Appreciate the mentality of Kyrie at this point. Embracing the moment, he'll take the big shot. Out to the wing. Here's Putso. And he lays it straight in. That's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Here's Irving. And too long on the shot. For Milwaukee, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Here's onto to Kubo, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And now a three-point Bucks lead. Big-time shot from young Giannis there. He feels more and more comfortable in these big moments. Outside Jordan. To the inside. Irving. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. Taking two shots. Two shots. And he drops the first one, and that brings them within two. I feel like Kyrie is just never afraid of the challenge in front of him. Tougher the situation, seems like the tougher he plays. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on. And so on to Kumbo looking over it. No good that time. Jordan with some nice deep. Three on three. Six seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Durant the pass to Irving. Irving double team. Down low. Lavert. Yes! That is world class. I've seen that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Timeout called the Bucks. They trail by one. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. Yeah, sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. At the line for your Nets. Kyrie Irving. At the line for two. He 
hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. And here's Giannis from outside. He's off from three. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. At the one for two. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Well, that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. Bledsoe and big shots going together. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. I think, Greg, they played with a little more of a relaxed demeanor tonight, knowing this was it, now or never. And their season continues because of that, Kevin. How about forcing a Game 7? This is big, and it's going to be an intense battle. I cannot wait. It'll be terrific. You're right. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in, and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olin, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.